we are going to be looking at the Robo Time Kathy's Flower House. Now this is a DIY miniature house that so we're going to be making tiny little miniatures and building this beautiful, beautiful house. Now I'm really, really excited. I'd also like to thank the people at Robo Time for sending this to me to review. It looks so cool. Now if you guys would like to get your own kit like this one, you can look down in the description. There are two links, one to the Robo Time website and the other to their Amazon page. So really exciting absolutely awesome and I'm just really excited as if you guys can't tell I love DIY stuff and I also love miniatures so this is really really cool and if you look at the back of the box you can see that we are also going to have real working lights which is something I'm really excited about so let's go ahead and open up the box so we have a lot of pieces in this set here are just some of them. I'll just show you guys really quick what we got. Um, there's so many pieces that I'm not going to explain everything. Um, this piece, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of pieces inside of this wrapping. We have a bunch of wood pieces. We have some like gray papers here. We have some black paper. We have a bunch of pieces of like garden stuff. We have what looks like glue. Um, we have some more pieces right here, some pieces here, and some more wood pieces. So lots and lots of stuff. We also get some tools. We get a paintbrush. We also get some little tweezers. And we get a little thing of paint. Now, you will need a few of your own items, and I'm going to put them up on the screen. So these things are not included in the kit. You will need a ruler, scissors, a utility knife, needle nose pliers, a pencil, a clip, a screwdriver, and a needle. So really, really cool. They did give us everything else that we need. And of course we have this huge thing of instructions. So let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, we're going to get our fabric. And you can see this is the floral side. We're gonna go ahead and turn it around. So now I am going to go ahead and start marking out the fabric where I need to cut it. So this is about what this will look like and we're just going to go ahead and cut these pieces apart with our scissors. So here are what the fabric pieces look like once we have cut them out and we're just going to take these and set them aside. So now we're going to get our paintbrush, our paint, and we're going to paint these four sides of these four pieces. So I finished painting all four of these and then I let them dry and did a second coat of paint. Now I'm just going to set them to the side. So now we're going to start on the door. So here are all the pieces that we're going to need and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly build it. Now we're going to be making shelf number one. Here's what the finished shelf looks like. Here's what we're gonna need for shelf number two. Here is shelf number two. Now let's make shelf number three. Here is our finished shelf number three. Now let's make shelf number four. Here is the finished shelf number four. Now let's make the shelf number five. Here is what our finished shelf number five looks like. Now we're going to make the easel. So here is our finished easel. Now we're going to make the wheel. 
Now we're going to make the stool. So here's what our finished stool looks like. So here are the pieces that we're going to need for wooden frame one. Here are the pieces that we're going to need for frame number two. Here's what we're going to need to make the cabinet. Here's what the cabinet looks like when it's finished. Next, we're going to be making a photo. Now let's make photo number two. Now let's make photo number three. Here's what this photo looks like. Now we're going to build small house number one. Here is house number one. Here's what we're going to need for the small house number two. Here is our finished birdhouse number two. So now we're going to do the floor. So now we're going to be making a floor mat. Here is our finished rug. Now we're going to make the suitcase. So here's what we're going to need for storage box number one. Here is our finished box number one. So now let's go ahead and make storage box number two. Here is box number two. Now we're going to make storage box number three.
Here is the finished box number three. Here's what we need for storage box number four. Here's what we're going to need for storage box five. Here is our finished box number five. Now we're going to make the plate. Here's what our finished plate looks like. Now we're going to do book one. Here are what these two books look like. So now we're going to be doing book two. Here is the finished book number two. Here's what this book looks like. So now we're going to be making some paper bags. Here is what these two bags look like when they're finished. Here are what these three floral bags look like when they're finished. Now we're going to make the broom. Now we're going to make the label sign. Now let's make two shovels. Here are what our shovels look like. Now we're going to make a kettle. Now we're going to make our second kettle. Now let's make the bucket. So now we're going to make the water pipe. Now let's make the faucet. Now we're going to make our small shovel. Now we're going to make a rake. Here's what the finished rake looks like. Now we're going to make a paintbrush. Here 
here is what the finished paintbrush looks like. Now we're gonna make a pencil. So here's our finished pencil. Now let's make the paint palette. Here's what our finished paint palette looks like. Now we're going to make four of these paper pots. going to make plant number Here is our finished plant number one. Now we're going to make plant number two. Here is what we're going to need for plant number three. Now we're going to make plant number five. So that is finished plant number five. Now we're going to make plant number six. So that is what plant number six looks like. Now we're gonna do plant number seven. Here is the finished plant number seven. Now we're gonna make plant number eight. So that is the finished plant number eight. Now let's do plant number nine. So here is the finished plant number nine. Now let's make plant number 10. Now let's make plant 11.
let's make plant number 12. Here is plant number 13. Here is the finished plant number 13. Here is what we're going to need for plant number 14. Here is plant number 14. Here is what we need for plant number 15. So I've also made these two just like I did for plant 15 and this is what they look like. Now let's make plant number 16. Here is the finished plant number 16. Now let's make plant number 17. Here is the finished plant number 17. Now let's make plant number 18. Here is the finished plant number 18. Now let's do plant number 19. Here are the finished plant number 19. Now let's make plant number 20. Here are the finished plant number 20. Now we're going to make plant number 21. Here are the finished plant numbers 21. Let's decorate this door. Now I'm going to do this piece. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put together the outside of the house and as you can see I've already assembled the plastic. They just have some little tabs on the sides. Now we're going to need to get our wall and paste that on.
Now we're going to do the same thing for the side piece. Now we're going to be adding on the frame. Alright you guys, so I didn't show a lot at the end there. Um, I went ahead and just built the rest of it, put, put the top on the floor, um, set up the light and everything like that. And I didn't put all that on film basically because I ran out of glue. Um, I, I almost had enough glue but not quite enough to finish up some of these wood pieces. So I just kind of winged it at the end, making it look really nice the way I liked it. So it looks super, super cool. Um, let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the light. And I've actually put the light down here at the bottom and I've glued it on there so it doesn't fall off. And I've just flicked on the light. You can see it's on now. So you can see that the light is on in there now. So let's go ahead and turn off the lights and see how it looks in the dark. So let's get a little bit of a closer look at it. But this is what it looks like from a distance. Alright you guys, so what did you guys think of the RoboTime at Kathy's Flower House? I thought it was so much fun to put together. I'm going to warn you guys now, it took me about 36 or more hours to put this entire thing together. I tried to cut out as much as I could um, so you guys could see a lot of the fun plant making and all that stuff. Um, but again, it was just a lot of stuff I had to do. So really, really cool. It looks absolutely beautiful. One of the things that you will notice is that the back wall over there um, is covered. I actually put like some cardboard here and painted it because I had a lot of scratches right there from where the glue was sticking. I tried to rub it off and I scratched that whole side up. So I thought, okay, I'll just put a little wall there and some black paper over it. I had plenty of my own black parchment paper, so I just made it all black over there. Really, really cool though. Absolutely loved it. So much fun. So many pieces and it looks absolutely beautiful. So again, the link to this is down in the description. It is a lot of work and it will definitely keep you busy for a long, long time. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more videos. Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.